Okay, is this good? <clears throat> go back a bit. All right. There? Hi, so I'm showing you my new book and using the cover as an illustration of what it's about a bit, which is trying new methods, pushing out the boundaries a bit, finding quicker ways to do things. For example, here we've got on the cover a photograph taken last year at this time, September 2019, cabbages and leeks in the same place. I'm standing literally in the same place that that photograph was taken. And one thing I look at in this book is how necessary is rotation? Now, I'm not saying that rotation is a bad thing, but just that sometimes, you know, you want to plant something, you want to grow something and the space is empty, but the rotation says you shouldn't. <laughs> so I want you to be able to, to understand um, how necessary a lot of the rules are that we've been given traditionally in horticulture and how you can go beyond them to find quicker, simpler ways. The subtitle is From Weeds to Vegetables Easily and Quickly and this was a mass of weeds when I arrived here seven and a half years ago and now there is hardly a weed to be seen. The no-dig method is so good at eliminating perennial weeds which are often, if you cultivate, so very difficult to get rid of. So I can, that frees up your time and you can then grow your vegetables and concentrate all your time on that. So this was what I was doing last winter, writing the book and assembling all the photographs. There's 900 photographs in this book. It, a lot of sequential ones step by step to take you through. And let's just go and have a look at what I've done this summer as well, another publication. This summer I've been working on my new calendar of sowing dates for the year ahead and it has beautiful photographs to inspire you and the key sowing dates so that you sow each vegetable at its best moment and have best chance of it securing a wonderful harvest by enjoying the conditions it likes. Uh, this is September for example so there's the photograph, beautiful drone shot of homemakers here. You get a second photograph as well, that's my compost heaps there. And all the dates have their best sowing dates, but you can sow outside those as well. It's, it's suggesting it's to give you the framework and the confidence to get the best results. Like for example with Chinese cabbage here, which I recommend sowing late July, early August, because that way you miss the worst of the pests, you miss its flowering season. So therefore it's just going to keep on growing. These only went in the ground a month ago and they've just gone whoosh. And they're going to heart up through the mid to late autumn so we'll be harvesting them towards the end of October so fantastic result from one sowing making the most of time and effort put in into sowing as well or sowing spinach at the best date that spinach that was sown 10th of August it will go on for a long period of cropping from that one sowing date so this is available from my website and in some shops in the UK. Mm -hmm.